Hey guys, this is Darren Benton again with Performance Motor Coaches out in Texas. I want to bring you a video and we'll basically kind of title this video, Why Show Hauler? And uh, we'll kind of describe some of the differences between Show Hauler and some of the other manufacturers that are out there and basically why you should consider Show Hauler for your next uh, RV and also why you should consider our dealership as your next potential uh, dealership as well. So. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So uh, probably the number one draw to show hauler uh, and what sets it apart from any other manufacturer is the construction process itself. So even though, you know, for the people that are just looking at various RVs and whether they're class A's or whether they're uh, truck chassis and, you know, super C's and whatnot, really what sets it apart is the framing itself. So show hauler, obviously our belief in, at show hauler and the dealership as a, as a whole has a lot more value into buying a pre-made chassis. So um, small things like uh, your air conditioner controls, um, you know, window controls, all that is from a uh, controlled company that has hundreds, of pa hundreds upon thousands of those out on the road. So it's much easier to service uh, whenever it comes to problems, uh, very easy problem solving and whatnot. So you start with a truck chassis. And then uh, the fact that we are starting with something that's so robust, uh, Showhauler's idea was they wanted to keep that flowing all the way into, into the conversion itself. So uh, once they get the unit, they start with a steel subframe. And basically every single manufacturer from the floor down will start with a steel subframe. And then that's basically where things change. Um, most of the manufacturers um, use a one-piece laminate wall they set the walls into place and they actually screw them in. So they use a similar type molding as this. They'll set the walls into place and they'll basically just screw everything together. They'll set the upper uh, roof on. They'll screw it all together versus this is um, a one piece welded steel frame from here back. Uh, we actually bolt into the cab itself. And then we do use steel framing up in the fiberglass cap. Uh, I can assure you, if you looked at any manufacturer, I don't care who they are, if you got into the that fiberglass cap over the cab itself, there will be zero structural integrity back in there other than fiberglass itself. So if something happened to fall off a bridge, um, if you were to put this uh, on its side, uh, if you were to have any kind of major collision, there is basically no structural integrity other than screwed together fiberglass and basically uh, minimal aluminum framing inside the wall itself. So there's just leaps and bounds difference as far as the construction process itself. Now for the people that say, you know, okay, I don't want this steel um, because I don't want it to rust and then I don't know what goes on beyond there. So essentially, a little bit tougher to see. So once uh, the steel frame is uh, put into place, most of my units we take and um, run a spray foam. So we basically get the, uh, get the unit framed, we get it skinned and then it's spray foam. So basically, there's essentially there's no area for any kind of moisture whatsoever uh, is in, in regards to all your, all your steel uprights and whatnot. Um, the, we use a uh, 3M VHB tape. Uh, it's basically the best of the best uh, bonding tape to put all of the aluminum uh, panels on all the way around. Uh, the reason why they use the aluminum tape as opposed to rivets is um, you do get a certain amount of flex to those aluminum panels, whether it's really cold or really hot. So it allows those panels to float to a certain degree. Whereas if you use rivets, it doesn't allow it to give whatsoever. And so if you look at older horse traders and such with rivets, you'll actually see the panels have moved around the rivets. Any of the rivets have popped off um, or the, you, it's a basic, basically a place for water intrusion back behind there. So definitely a difference there. Um, I can't stress to you the difference in that. Uh, just and don't take my word for it. Just Google RV rack. Uh, look at what your diesel pusher, look at what your fiberglass sided uh, truck chassis looks like in any kind of major accident. It's not pretty. Um, we get a lot of customers that come to us because they want a unit that's safe. They want to be able to put their family in the back. And you know, it, if they do have some kind of major problem, have a blowout on the road, they just feel safer. So you know, definitely safety the number one concern. Of course, show hauler is still family owned. Uh, everybody else, they're big, big corporations have bought them out. And so 
uh, just things change uh, in that regard and I think that pretty much everybody can agree to that um, you know you can call show hauler and they just pick up the phone and there's you know you don't have to go through you know some major phone system uh, the, you can talk to the owners. They're there every day. They know the ins and outs of these coaches. They've been there for 20 years. And so when it comes to problem solving, when it comes to building a custom unit, uh, when it truly comes to meeting the customer's needs, I don't believe you'll find a better fit than Show Hauler. They just do a good job listening to the customers. Um, I've only been a dealer for a little over four and a half years. I've done really well with the product. Um, I just, you know, we, we mesh well together. Uh, think highly of their company um, push them really hard as well but you know I just saw all the benefits in the construction um, you know the fact that I could custom design motorhomes and whenever I saw problems that they would listen to me that's definitely a difference uh, in regards to what you would get with any other company out there we'll kind of keep on going through um, it's really difficult for people to imagine that you know at show hauler they build every single thing so if you damage this door right here you can call them you don't have to call and give them dimensions you can just call and say I've got coach number blah 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 this this particular coach right here is coach number 2000 and this was the first coach set of 2020 so that's how they came up with coach number 2000 so if you call them and say hey uh, I've got a damaged storage compartment, uh, the first one on the right hand side. They'll go back to their computer system and they will generate this door and they'll make that door within 24 to 48 hours. So definitely impressive, something you typically don't see with any other manufacturer. We'll kind of come back. wanted to really highlight this door right here. So this particular door um, was standard about two years ago. Um, Whenever I first started dealing with show hauler, the entry doors on their nice high-end conversions were the same entry door that you would get on a $15,000 camper. Um, I pushed hard to get this door. They brought the door in, and now the door is standard. Very robust. I mean, when you slam this door, it's like slamming the door of a safe. Um, we'll come around the back side of it. The screen door, I mean, matches the door itself everything is really stout um, so this basically door is not going to you know rattle drive it up and down the road if you have dogs whatnot they won't tear up the if you can catch that they won't won't tear up the screen uh, glass not plastic right there uh, when everything closes like i said it just it sounds nice and tight uh, so small things like that but you know you go looking at most other manufacturers and they just use a really cheap camper door so definitely proud of this door We'll come back around there again. Everything is built. Um, you know, you can you can come along and say, "Hey, Darren, you know, we we have a we have a an outdoor water tank that we we use to you know wash our bikes, and we can build uh, that water tank right inside the coach." So basically, anything is customizable to a certain degree. The uh, you know, show hauler builds anything from um, you know units people use for dog shows um, they'll you they'll build garage coaches um, kind of anything you can really think of uh, they can build I come around the back here they've had a fiberglass cap for several for several years but that definitely is uh, makes a big difference in my opinion some of the other manufacturers as far as the truck chassis they don't, they don't have a fiberglass cap so they just look really unfinished they look like a box like a like a u-haul box on the back of a truck um, and it just small attributes like that that definitely make a difference um, with the fiberglass cap um, it is nice so you know if, if you should have some a really small collision on the back this entire fiberglass cap can be removed and replaced as opposed to having to go through and basically tear apart the structure of the motor home so there one is there is for aesthetics and two you know if you were to back into something and do some minor damage you won't actually damage the interior of your motor home whatsoever First of all, show, show haulers come with a 40,000 pound capacity hitch. That's standard. Um, no matter what trailer you put on the back of one of these, it's really not a concern. Uh, it's amazing to me when I see people in big diesel pushers uh, pulling big stacker trailers. They weren't designed for it. Uh, lots of problems. Uh, but it's just nice to have that heavy duty hitch right there. Really don't have to worry about a thing. 
uh, whether you're pulling a big stacker you know we got some people that even will pull you know I, I, there's I've got a guy that uh, he pulls a dozer around going from one ranch to the next whenever he travels from ranch to ranch you'll catch this ladder right here there again if you'll look at any other manufacturer they use just a rinky dink ladder um, basically it's just it's the same ladder they use on a travel trailer and you know if you're a bigger guy or if that ladder's been out outdoors a little bit and there's a lot of com plastic components on the other style ladder um, and I've been on plenty of them where they break right here and you just hope that you're that, that it doesn't break by the time you hit there I've slid down several ladders uh, but there again uh, I ask uh, Showaller to build a really stout ladder and that's what they came up with so pretty happy to see that I'll come around here in regards to some of the other manufacturers out there if you'll look at um, basically any other truck chassis manufacturer other than um, there's one there's one small company up there in Middlebury Indiana that, that shares the same steel structure their generator is right back here and if you'll look at pictures online you'll see how dirty the doors are because when you drive up and down the highway you're going to kick up dirt uh, I've, and we've seen it, everything underneath the sun uh, out here in our neck of the woods we've got a lot of cowboys guys that will go into a little bit of dirt um, and the first thing that happens is that dirt gets sucked right up in that generator you go you drive over it with your tires it gets kicked up and it just goes for, goes from bad to worse uh, and with those Onan generators the radiator is actually at the bottom of the generator itself so basically it sucks that air in there all the dirt and then it will stop up the radiator so that's a major major uh, issue that you'll see uh, with pretty much everybody out there so that very problematic in that that leads me to why they put the generator there so show all uses a very simple slide out mechanism the uh, just had a few people kind of make some comments about the arms on the side of the on the sides of the slides uh, show all uses the same lift co slide mechanism they use for 20 years and the reason why they do that is a very simple mechanism very few parts to break uh, very you know hardly any problems associated with the lift coast slides the a lot of the manufacturers will use a flush floor so that is one one disadvantage to this particular slide is it comes strictly in and out whereas some of the other manufacturers will come out and drop down uh, there again you can google all you want about flush floor slides and the problems associated with flush floor slides when you do the flush floor slides all this has to drop down and it makes all these storage compartments here quite a bit uh, lower and so it takes up a lot of space but the number one thing is you can't then put the generator right here in this particular location because you simply don't have enough room so di completely different design uh, just the fact of having the generator and a slide mechanism is night day difference it's really difficult to really know there so we'll kind of continue to walk around the coach the gray water black water tanks yeah, I think, she, I think she does. Okay. So anyway, you can see here, you know, decent amount of room for the generator there. Midship in the coach. Uh, far away from your bedroom as far as sound as well. Let's go here. Um, another thing to consider is the number of gray water and black water tanks that you might have. Uh, most of the manufacturers will only use one gray, one black. And so whenever you get these coaches that are a bath and a half or two baths or that have washer dryers, uh, those, t those tanks fill up really, really quickly. Um, so the nice thing about this particular coach, where this is a bath and a half, the uh, front vanity, the kitchen, and the washer dryer dump into this, uh, into this single 72-gallon uh, gray water tank. Uh, some of the other manufacturers, like I said, everything moves back. And there again, when you have all of your um, plumbing in a particular area it has to drain you know 20 plus feet to make it in those gray water black water tanks so all does a good job at spacing everything appropriately and making minimal runs to those gray water black water tanks so we'll talk about um, 
the floor in a show hauler and the construction of the floor and the placement of your of all your fresh water uh, lines and your drain lines themselves. So essentially, once this unit is complete, um, they have a radius upright on the rear, radius upright uh, on all your tops, all the way around. So the floor on this particular unit is about a it's about a two and a half inch um, vacuum bonded uh, laminate piece that actually slides from one uh, slides uh, in from the back. So it's one piece front to back. So whenever you start talking about putting tile floors in, it's much, much safer to put, uh, put it on this particular floor because it's one piece. You get minimal flex to this floor right here. Most other manufacturers take a two by four, lay it on its side, and then stack those two by fours front to back. And then they'll deck it from there. So if you have a little bit of stress in regards to your flooring, uh, if you have a screw that gets loose, basically what happens from there is it will pop a tile up and there's kind of one problem from the next. In that, the way that they put all the two by fours in the floor itself, uh, they're actually able to use, actually, they actually put the drain lines down inside the floor. So envision, you know, if you had a sink right here and you had a two by four, basically they pop down on the floor and then they run all your drain lines down the floor. You know, well imagine, you know, imagine trying to get water to go from here all the way to that back black or gray water tank, you know, 20 plus feet. There's not enough, there's not enough fall in 20 plus feet. I mean, that's, those are things, those are simple things that if you were a home builder and you don't have enough fall in your plumbing, you don't get, you basically don't get any, any kind of certification for occupancy in the home or business or whatever. So small little things that really should be considered, you know, going into a motor home and, and spending this kind of money. So in that, um, Whatever they run the water lines, drain lines in the floor, in the two by four, especially if you have a tile floor, if you have a leak, you simply can't get to it. With a truck chassis, and there again, I'll, I'll have to bring you into this particular storage compartment right here. There's actually a gap between the top of the storage compartment, basically right here, and the floor. So whenever they run water lines and drain lines down, they have to run them in here where a show hauler runs everything above the floor themselves. Whenever you run all the water lines and drain lines above the floor, you can get to them. Uh, they run chases here and there to be able to uh, access um, those water lines and drain lines everywhere. So it makes it relatively easy to fix should you have a, uh, any kind of a uh, leak whatsoever. Uh, there again, if you have the two by four floor, and you run down in, you got a tile floor, you simply can't get to those. You can't get to it from the bottom, you can't get to it from the top without removing the tile floor. So, you know, you can imagine uh, trying to find a leak, and there again, if I don't know if, it, if anyone's ever tried to find a leak in their home, sometimes you'll have a leak, you know, coming in, in, in through your ceiling in a bedroom, and the actual leak will be on the, other, on the complete opposite side of the house. So. Uh, there again, you know, you might have a leak here underneath the coach and you might run down 10 feet breaking tile out before you actually find the leak in the floor. Just a much better idea to have your water lines and drain lines above the floor very, very easily accessible. I'll come around here to the front of the coach. You know, pretty much all of our competition will use the same type of trucks. Uh, everybody kind of has their preference as far as Freightliner, Peterbilt, Volvo. The reason why we use Freightliner is because they are the easiest manufacturer to work with as far as cutting into their cab, uh, warranty, uh, just a really great relationship with Freightliner. Uh, I've driven all of them and I still, the Cascadia is my truck of choice. Uh, I've driven the Kenworth, I've driven Peterbilt, uh, but this is still my favorite truck. Uh, it's my favorite power plant, this Detroit diesel, the DT transmission. To me, you just really can't beat this as an overall package. Things like the LED headlights up there. I can tell you that I've got a 2017 Chevrolet pickup um, 2500 and those headlights are 10 times the headlight of a 2017 um, 
just uh, just pretty amazing that uh, you know that a truck you know people would think a, a truck would be a little bit more crude uh, you know this drives as as good if not better than my three-quarter ton pickup We'll come out and gotta kind of get a screenshot of the entire side of the coach here. One last thing, we'll move on from here. Uh, the particular roof on this um, show hauler, right about about right about four months ago, they went to a one-piece composite roof from front to back. Uh, they used to use a one-piece aluminum uh, from front to back. Um, the issue with that aluminum was that basically uh, it would, uh, you know, in the summertime, it would attract a lot of heat. Uh, and uh, this particular, uh, this particular uh, composite is white in color, so it will basically kind of radiate that heat. Um, some of the issues with the with the aluminum in the past was it would oxidize. So uh, if you had a unit that was outdoors quite a bit, uh, especially if you had a white unit, uh, aluminum will naturally will naturally oxidize, and uh, essentially as the oxidation builds up and you get some moisture up on the top, oxidation rolls over the side of the coach, and it takes um, what is a nice clean coach and has these black lines over it. So definitely happy that they came up with that particular. Um, it's it's a it's a part similar that they use on some of the semi uh, trailers. I think there's a 25 year warranty on that particular product. So uh, definitely happy that small little attributes continue to change. The um, that pretty much wraps it up. I said you know I hopefully I didn't I, I was wanted to be real hesitant not use any other manufacturers names in this video, um, but there's definitely. You know, our biggest competition, there are huge differences um, between each and every one. It's, it's imperative that the, the, that the consumer do their homework to understand exactly what they're getting. But, you know, if you're looking for a truck chassis motorhome but need these small little, you know, these small little uh, attributes or need these, you know, customizations that, you know, your current dealership or manufacturer won't be able to do, make sure you give us a call. You can always reach me, on my, reach me on my cell phone number. It's 806-786-7676. That's 806-786-7676. You know, reach out to me at any point in time. I've always got lots of show haulers in production. Uh, it's not an issue whatsoever to get a hold of me. I'd be happy to meet you at the factory. I'd be happy to bring you in the dealership here. Uh, show you the units we have here. Show you units we have in service as well. Not an issue whatsoever. Uh, make sure you guys like all of our videos. Uh, make sure you like us on Facebook. Um, the more you like us, the more it will help get the name out, get the product out. Uh, it definitely helps um, you know, generate more sales. Uh, we want everybody to be a part of the family, of Performance Motor Coaches family. Uh, we'll, we'll try to do some more videos on kind of what's different about our dealership. Uh, but uh, make sure you like and s subscribe to this video. We'll go from there. Thank you.